It's like, ah. <laughs> then again, Ubisoft games are also kind of weird sometimes. But hello, everybody. Hello, hello. We are returning back once more unto the world of Assassin's Creed 3. Assassination contract? Huh, I don't even think that was there before. But yes, we are going to... Hmm, well, I guess we'll run, get that treasure, and then come back and deal. But yeah, we're going to continue evermore the game of Assassin's Creed 3 and hope that we run into less annoyances compared to last time. Because last time, we just, like, were doing things out in the wilderness, trying to just, like, you know, do hunting, do that one hunting mission, gather feathers, just various things. We we just did, did like, a, a, a moon fly jump. Okay, sure, Connor. And uh, the notoriety system reared its ugly head of being bad. At least in the wilderness. Because there was like no way to lower notoriety out there as far as I could see. Unless it's just very badly telegraphed compared to the past games. Which would be sad. Then again, I don't think past games have really... Then again, what past games? I don't think they had like notoriety in like... Wilderness areas, or at least wilderness areas were already connected to a city. So the wilderness of that city would share the same notoriety bar. It's just a frustrating addition. It, it would be less frustrating if they didn't have Super Terminator British soldier guys out for your blood. I would like to jump game off into the street. And the game wouldn't let me. It's like, out of all the games, why would you make it harder to jump off a roof? Oh, <laughs> sure game, I can jump off to my death when I'm trying to get down from a synchronization tree. But when I want to jump off the roof onto the ground in a city, suddenly, suddenly that's too far. All in the game where health is the least important resource you have because it just respawns. There's like no healing as far as I can tell. In this game. Why is this so, like, done up and everything? <laughs> they see a hooded man just walking. They're like, we gotta... I w oh, is it because this is where the... Uh, this might be where... I forget. Is this where... No, it isn't. For a moment, I thought, like, oh, big building church thing? Is this where the Boston Massacre took place? It's like, no, not really. Oh, <laughs> that drew all the guards. So that's kind of how you're supposed to do just, like, a walk-by murder. And that gets them walking. Okay, sure, I'll go in now. Hold that man. <laughs> I just knee-checked that guy over a railing. Well, fence. Thank you. I spent like five minutes stabbing that guy. And then the game is like, actually, nah, he's not dead. Ow. I'm trying to do things, game. Jesus Christ. And there was no hit mark. Game, that's twice. That was almost three times that the game just decided, no, you don't get a counter. Like, notification. Jesus Christ game. Tell me when I'm about to get hit. That's way too fucking fast. Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And more British... Fuck off. These guys, like... 
have so little in terms of, like, we're gonna tell you you're about to die. Then again, that might be a cool, like, thing if it's intentional. Like, if it's intentional, it's like higher ranked enemies have, like, le like they do still have the same follow-up to, uh, where I'm gonna stab you. But the they're so skilled, they don't give it away in the UI. I wouldn't mind that. If that was, like, actually an intentional thing. Of which it probably isn't. It likely isn't intentional at all. Crier, crier, printer shop. Where's just, like, a normal, hey, I would just like to uh, throw my face off the thing. We'll go to the other box, and then we'll take down that Templar Fort, because we can. Yeah, I'm not sure what to think of this notoriety system, because, come to think of it, it's also different in the sense that... Previously, it was all or nothing. You either become notorious, or you're basically incognito. Is one thing or the other. Oh, hey. Oh, I guess they don't... They just don't uh, have it on the map. That's not what I want, game. That's a choice, because I'm fairly certain that in Assassin's Creed 2 and the Ezio trilogy stuff, that wanted posters did show up on the mini-map. That's kind of annoying. So it's entirely possible that the wilderness only has wanted posters for Connor to get rid of his notoriety. And it's not on the damn minimap. <laughs> that is me giving them the benefit of the doubt, too. Because it's entirely possible that there's just no way to lower your notoriety out there. Or maybe it just hasn't become unlocked yet. Come to me, box. Your treasure will be my treasure soon enough. And then I'll go blow up a Templar fort. I blow up Malaysia. I wonder if this is good form. His legs seem to just be kicking randomly, but who knows. Maybe that is normal. It's just like a single guardman. Hello, friend. Don't mind me. Game I would like to whistle at the man. I can't whistle at the man. Why? <laughs> ah, I missed the ability to like actually lock on to dudes. No, it's like, oh, because, like, ah, we have to let people sh shoot. It's like, no, you don't. Why do you have to have cursors and stuff? I want to. I want to lock onto that man. I miss the lock on feature from previous games. I don't know why they took it away. It's just a very stupid design decision, if you ask me. This is also very dumb. Why not run around it, Connor? Are you not designed for that? Come on, run around it, Connor. They're ropes. You shouldn't even be able to do this. But I can teleport through them. When I'm murdering. And now they're committing suicide. Uh oh. Dodge this! Dodge that! This is the magical Dodge Olympics.
Now I stomp you. I stomp you again. All because the game wouldn't let me frickin' whistle to a dude. Oh, well, you're on a boat. You don't get to whistle. That's just very weird design. Again, just... The consequence of making everything contextual and taking control away from the player. Where I was just like, no, you're not allowed to, you know, actually play the damn game. Now. Guess we'll drop by the store, look at items, go there, blow up a place. But yeah, it's just baffling how technically Assassin's Creed 1 has better controls than this game. Because so often it feels like just control is taken away from me in this game. Whereas in Assassin's Creed 1, while it might be clunky, it didn't just say, No, you don't get to do the thing that you should be able to do. Like on the boat, I just want to whistle at the enemy to draw them towards me so I can throw them over the railing. And then the game just decided you don't get to do that because contextual says you could drop. So drop takes precedence. Of which it would be fixed if I could just frickin' go and do a thing. Accounting book. Oh, I can do stuff from here! Or is this like buying things from here? Neat. Very cool. I will buy lots of stuff and then it'll probably be like a convoy that comes to my place to, for delivery. Yeah, it's just like, out of all the things, it's so weird and strange that they just decided, yeah, you don't get to, like, actually do things. Lock on? No. No lock on for you. Which just doesn't make I sense. I can buy a normal sword, less combo and damage, but a lot more speed. Uh, since it's like two red down and like apparently my speed is already good, I don't think I'll care for that. And I can't buy any clubs. What about small weapons? Oh, Assassin Tomahawk counts as a small weapon. Why would the stone tomahawk be faster? Well, I guess since we technically don't have a sword, I'll buy a sword. Okay. Oh, and we can go to the accounting book from here. That's nice. Let's see if there's any heavy weapons. Nope. Firearms, because I do have a flintlock out of nowhere. That would have been a nice, like, thing to actually show the player. Like, just imagine, like... I don't know. A mission of him, like, getting to know the use of frickin' guns as a mission. That would have been nice. But we can buy the Boston outfit. And the Jamestown outfit. And the Charleston outfit. Crafted by a Charleston tailor. And the Ezio outfit. <laughs> that just looks so out of place compared to all the others. Achieve full sync on all main missions for a costume. Then again, I guess that's kind of the point to a degree. Well, let's make it. Uh, we'll buy this. I think it looks cool. And now we probably have to go all the way back to the land. Oh, we can buy page map. The Almanac page map displays the location of all pages found in the city of Boston and New York. Eh, sure, I guess. I have nothing else to really spend my money on. 
Feathers don't care. Like, yeah, why not? Like, give me things to run around and do. And sure, Frontier maps as well. It's all the maps. And now let's see. Am I already in it? Huzzah! Now I look cool. Oh, so there is a trinket. So that was kind of worthwhile doing. Well, we'll go blow up the thing first. <laughs> Just don't tread on me. Just like the most useless flag ever. Because it basically is only ever waved by people that want to tread on other people. Don't tread on me treading on other people. What are they doing? Building Noah's Ark? That's one fucking big boat. Then again, like, half the boat is gonna be, like, in the water. Because it's gonna be weighed down. But still, that's still a very big fucking boat. Yeah. Why do you say say that so angrily? The Boston City Journal. That's kind of annoying that the icon for the almanac. Why did it speed up? I swear it sped up. This is not moving like a normal page would. That's so stupid, I hate you. I hate- I hate the almanac pages in this fucking game. Because they just like, I'm a fucking fairy! And they fly around like dipshits. Die. Now we need to get in, probably through the front door. More than likely. Because these seem to be some sheer cliffs. But maybe I'll be able to sneak in another way. Maybe. What, is there a fight breaking out? There is. All right, good for you. I'm going to sneak in probably through this, maybe. Maybe this will go, but it probably won't, because uh, probably going over to that fort. No. Either that or it'll take a long time to get to the front or the back. These are very boringly designed forts, at least for an Assassin's Creed game. Because there's, like, no way to climb in because they basically want to force you through the front door. That's lame. Oh, there's a little hidey hole. Hmm. I miss the ability to, like... Again, why is it taking so long to kill this asshole? I really don't like the forts. They're so lame. The forts are just boring. That's all they are. Not to mention, it just takes so fucking long to kill these guys. Why? I miss the old combat. It was just nicer. It was less bullshit. Like, what even are their health values? Why can't I see them? Now 
we're going to try and be somewhat stealthy, maybe. If at all possible. Until a guy with eagle vision sees me from across the way. Again, guy with eagle vision who just decides to look my direction. You held down the go fast button. You shouldn't have done that. He can see me, but I can't shoot him. That should be illegal. Yeah, I just hate that everything is contextually the fucking B button, man. Contextual shenanigans. It's like, you know, for a, like a, a stealthy assassin game. It feel, very much feels like other stealth games have just done so much better at feeling good at stealth. He's trying to get away. I already did. How far is he going to come? Just enough to lock onto me? Come on, turn around and go. And again, he is of the Terminator variety. Can't even shoot him because he'll just survive. Die. Yeah, I just really don't like the design of these forts. They just make it very frustrating. Why is it still saying that he's alive? Okay. It's just saying that he's alive for some reason. Sure. Whatever you say, guy. Yeah, this is just like, I don't know. This is starting to feel very much like the designers of Memory Sequence 13 and Assassin's Creed 2. Like, feels like they made this game. And I say that because the game is very much just badly designed. You're making a stealth game and you're just going to make it nigh impossible to like be stealthy it's like i know we're gonna give them two ways to get in with no way to assassinate their way in easily like these are just little fort places it has less like entrances than the goddamn pope's house in rome this is a bush why can't i sneak in the bush game oh so stupid Stupid and boring. Because everything's contextual. It's just so weird that, like, we're going to have a rocky fort that the assassin can't climb. Sheer cliffs out in the frontier. Yeah, sure. There was not that many guards in there. There just wasn't. And again, I haven't joined the fight yet. I could have done this fort as Haytham, I'm like 90% certain. <laughs> I think this fort existed when I played as Haytham, but I was like, I'm going to save that fort for later. So that I actually have, like, 
the ability to do things. That would be just, like, double weird. Because, like, the British are, like, prime Templar grounds. So it would be weird for Haytham to go. It's just like, I'm going to lower the flag of the British. See if we can find the magical fairy almanac page this time. That annoyingly just like shift a different direction if you dare to come at it from a different direction. Ah, it's because if we don't, it'll be very easy. It's like these are little collectibles. Why do they have to fly away? You already also have the feathers. I don't even know what they do either. Why is there a wanted poster for me, but like I'm not wanted? Would they get angry at me if I did this? No. They don't care. There's a there's a wanted poster of me. And they see me tearing down the wanted poster, but I'm not wanted. What was it? Was it a not wanted poster? It was like this man is a very handsome poster. And like one thing that I also noticed while ruminating on Assassin's Creed 1 is I mean, the parkour feels a bit off due to the level design. Sure, I'm 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 locked in by a dead body. Like I'm certain that he was not angry at me to, of that variety game. Why didn't you just stab him? I miss being able to do that in Assassin's Creed 2. Just like in a moment of shock, the guard can still be stabbed, even though they see you, like, kill a guy. They should just, why'd they take that away? That was fun. That basically should be Assassin's Creed 3's, like, epitaph. They changed what was fun to not be fun. For, like, no reason. It's like a stingy executive came in and was just like, we have to do it this way. We must change things for the sake of changing. The more I play this, the more I just wish that they just literally had the same gameplay as, like, Revelations. Like, that's a very mean design. It's a very tall building to have to climb. But at least I got it in the end. Would have been annoyed if I didn't. I don't even know, like, all these invention recipe things. What even are they? We haven't seen... Like, that's also another question. Why is Connor gathering the almanac pages? Ben Franklin told that to Haytham. And Haytham gathered up some of them, because I played them that way. It just, it's very weird that Connor just seems to be gathering up the almanacs for no reason. Oh, another fort that I can do. That's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, another fort that I'll have, like, an annoying time getting into. It'll either be, like, straight combat, because stealth would be mostly impossible. There'll probably be a small little outlet that I might be able to. Because at least there's things around it. Could that maybe be a way to just climb in? A way to climb in! A well-designed fort, ladies and gentlemen. It's a miracle. I don't even know who it wants me to whistle at like that. Very annoying game. I was in... It's because... 
Why'd they change it? Why'd they change the fucking gameplay? It's so stupid. I go in expecting to play it like all the other fucking Assassin's Creed's, and it's just like, no, we changed it. It's annoying. Give me back my actual Assassin's Creed gameplay. No, we changed it. We had to change it. Change is good, even though it's not. So stupid. Like, seriously. Especially in, like, a series game. Why would you... Like, go and change it like that? What the fuck? It was all very weird and annoying. I miss the old Assassin's Creed gameplay. This is just bad. I'm gonna say it again and again. This is just annoying and bad, because they just changed it for no reason. Oh, fuck off. It's just like everything is just hard to really understand and get to grips with. It's like, nah, we have to change it. I press the fucking button game. Fuck off. Goodbye, Mr. Flyman. And once again, his body is eternal. Become anonymous. How about you suck my balls? Everyone was dead. It was just like, become anonymous. Don't know how to tell you this, but everybody who has seen me being dead is kind of anonymous. It just like it just feels like they ruined the stealth gameplay and made the combat more tedious. Just lame. You'd think that they would look to the past games in the series that is so successful that they want to make more in that series and go, what made that fun? And then they wouldn't change what made it fun, but they did. This feel... Assassin's Creed 3 feels like an Assassin's Creed ripoff. That's what it feels like. It feels like a different company looked at Assassin's Creed and went, I want to be, I want to make an Assassin's Creed, but can't, so we'll make our own thing. And everything is just slightly off in a not good way. That's what this feels like, and it's officially Assassin's Creed. It's so bothersome. How do you even do that? Enemies are annoying to sneak up on. Combat is annoying to deal with. Like, even games that aren't really stealth games and are pretty mediocre in, like, the overall gameplay, like Shadow of Mordor, have better stealth than this. Because even when an orc goes like, Ah! My man, my friend has been stabbed! You still have, like, a split second to stab them, too. Here it's like, oh, we have gone from stealth mode to combat mode, and now you can die because everything is contextual, which is annoying. I will go to the thing and get the peg leg over there. It's just very disappointing. But the more I play this game, the more it just feels lesser and lesser, even compared to Assassin's Creed 1. How do you do that? How do you feel worse designed than 
the game that is called the beta version of Assassin's Creed 2. It's like, is this what sequel syndrome is? Where they just eternally have to go like, oh, we have to justify it being a sequel. Don't improve upon the gameplay and story. No, just tweak it. Change it for no reason. Instead of actually being able to have fun with the stealth, how about we ruin the stealth? That'll be a change people will want to buy the game for. And again, I could have sworn that people like talked about like a free-running, flowing assassination system in this game, but I just I don't feel it. It does not feel that way. Maybe it's just a failure on my part, but the game didn't really set it up at all. And I just want to play it like a normal Assassin's Creed game. But they just, like, destroyed all the normal Assassin's Creed stuff. Which is just bothersome. Because it just feels like, yeah, it's just like that, just the best way to really describe this Assassin's Creed entry. It feels like somebody else wanted to rip off Assassin's Creed, but instead it was Ubisoft ripping off themselves. Again, all you have to do, just transplant Assassin's Creed Revelations gameplay, tweak it a bit. It would have been fine. Maybe they changed engines? I don't know. But it just isn't feeling good. Is what I'm feeling. It just all feels slightly off. And then we'll go courier mission, assassination mission, and then we'll try to do the main mission. Hmm. I hope that Assassin's Creed 4 is a bit more fun. I know that, like, one major complaint for Assassin's Creed 4 is apparently an abundance of following missions. Where it's like, ah, I have to, like, uh, follow in the shadows this guy, track him to a place. And it's just like that five billion times, which might be annoying. But so long as, like, because that's, like, the, that's a major failing of a game to me. Is when the core gameplay feels unsatisfying. And so far, the, like, combat is, feels a bit clunky and weird. And also with the missing, like, hit counter markers, those are always fun. And then, like, again, the stealth. You can't do risky plays. It all has to be boring. Like back in Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, Revelations... Oh, good God, am I going to place this below Re Brotherhood? Because as much as I'm annoyed by Brotherhood and all that it is in terms of story and the bonus objectives and certain other things, like, at least it still played kind of like Assassin's Creed 2. Which, which is enough. I suppose, at this point. But we'll have to see. Have to see. I wonder if these random things I'm stealing from people's backyards will satisfy old Pegleg Man.
Oh, so this is where our mission was. You seen the serpent? You bet your eyes I seen the serpent. Thing was horrified. Where was it? Just out past the breakwater. Came up to the surface to have a look and plunged right back down again. What is it? The, I saw was the Boston monster? Jack say there's an old man that's always around when the beast appears. Jack say a lot of things. But this B one, I believe. They say he commands. He believes it, this one. <laughs> Somebody commands a monster. What is it? What a bunch of fluff. Then I mean. A piece of Eden controlling a sea monster. Ah, kind of odd that you have like options for listening in. You hear the serpent weaver died. The old thief's buried not far from here. Man was a blight. Good riddance. That old fellow people said caused the crack and brought the farm not long ago. Nobody's seen the beast since. So it was true then. Didn't say that. <laughs> Maybe you could ask his widow. She won't leave his grave. Interesting. Hello, old lady. You come to pay your respects. You're the first. He didn't have many friends. People just really, I just want to know what secret magic he stuff he was up to. A good husband. I never wanted for anything. Interesting. That would be funny if just this random side quest suddenly a piece of Eden. It lets you summon a Kraken. Davy Jones. Is that a shop or a or a shack? Oh, it's just out here in the open. Was he making a rudimentary diving suit? That's what it looks like. Random, like... <laughs> Just a random camera angle. What was there supposed to be a, a sea monster out in the distance from that table that we were looking from? I don't get it. There's a homestead mission that just cropped up. We'll go do it. And then we'll do that assassination mission. And then maybe the main mission. Oh no, I'm just going with the vibes. The flow of things. Yeah, I dearly hope that either the gameplay, like, clicks with me later, or at the very least, they don't change it anymore. <laughs> this angle feels weird because it's just like, that wall is not a 90 degree angle, so looking around it, it felt very flat. Here, homestead mission. Here, homestead mission. Oh, great. It's the normal guys this time. Shove off, mate. You'll be so. No. And now, goodbye. I hit the button, thank you very much. Get stabbed. How dare you attack the guy? Jerk. Thank you, my Hello, friend. Norris. They had a little too much beer and didn't like the sound of my voice. I was only talking to that girl. Your accent is unfamiliar. 
Where are you from? North of here. The way that he Avenged just... The Quebec. I'm beginning and to not like Connor's off. performance. I am a miner by trade, but it's hard to find work. People don't listen to me because of my accent. It might be our meeting with fate. I it might be that our meeting was fate. There are the beginnings of a mine. I do not know what is in there, but you might find what you are looking for within. Oh, come have a look. If there is something good, maybe we'll talk, eh? Hopefully, my dude. Yeah, it's just like there's something just off with Connor's performance sometimes. Be gone. More frontiersmen. But we're gonna go do the assassination mission. This will be our first assassination as Connor, unless you count that guy who tried to help in the Boston Massacre. Yeah, again, it just always feels like they're trying to kind of recreate Ezio. When they're just like failing at it. Are you going to tell me to kill somebody just out in the open? Apparently so. I don't even know where you, who it is he wants me to kill. I came up. Let's see. Missions. I don't... I don't... I don't? Game? I activated the mission, did I not? And it didn't give me anything! Okay, fine. I come up to an assassination mission, hoping to get an assassination mission, and then the game says, lol, no. Okay. Fine, I guess. This game is badly designed. <laughs> the more I play it, the more I'm just like, how the hell is Assassin's Creed, like, one, the overall best Assassin's Creed game? <laughs> and the funny thing is, it would be Assassin's Creed 2 if it weren't for those two downloadable update memory sequences. Memory sequence, like, 12 and 13, I think they were, are horrible. 12, a little bit less so, feels a bit weird and wonky. 13, though, utterly horrible. It's like, that, what even the hell was that? It's like, start assassination mission. I click it. Guy says nothing. Nothing appears. There is nothing telling me where that assassination mission has gone. It is just a way. Nothing makes sense in this game. Nothing makes sense. Nothing feels good. The combat feels clunky. The stealth feels clunky. It's just so bleh. Yeah, it might just get to the point that I start ignoring, like, 90% of things and just do, like, homestead and main story. Because I like doing side objectives in big open worlds. A lot of the time, they usually turn out to be the best parts. But here, it might just... Just, like, everything feels off about this game. The stealth, the combat, the almanacs, the bonus, like, like the delivery missions, the assassination contracts. Thank you. And even, like, the cutscenes in this game feel bad. I sympathize with your 
frustrations, gentlemen. But surely you can understand my reluctance to kick the hornet's nest. The Tories sting no matter what you do. Paul Revere. Make it count. I'm here to kill people. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. <laughs> That's because of the remastered you diversion. At least that is one thing. <laughs> that person just walked through Samuel Thank Adams. You. That conversation was about to turn out oh. pleasant. Okay. Now, <laughs> These British guards just to I was hoping took his place. I thought I was like, what, did he suddenly change? Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. But we then he'll be destroyed, obviously. Out, when this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. But Tell that to my neighbor who is compelled. Who to shall we kill today, troops, Sam? We can philosophize later. Don't those become those another Ben Franklin. Around. The original version is way more polished graphically speaking. Like, not even like graphically, but like the way the cutscenes are shot sometimes feel off. The flow of the cutscene, too. Sometimes they're fine. Other times they're weird. To take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves. It's not open for discussion now. Open this door, or these men will break it down. Ah! Ah, bollocks, we're coming in. <laughs> ah! I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. <laughs> I'm gonna go kill some British. Take this! Get stabbed! I don't even know how I'm supposed to say below Notoriety 2, where it's like, go kill these guys! Are you alright? Interesting looking man. Just this for once. I dare the government <laughs> it's a 2012 <laughs> game. You can't expect Red Dead Red uh, Redemption 2 levels of cinematic. No, I expect Assassin's Creed 2 levels of cinematic. <laughs> My first dance. For all your teeth and claws. At least, or even, boxes, hell, I would even take Assassin's Creed one level of cinematic with the little glitches that you can press a button to activate different camera angles. Those were nice. I'd buy you an ale, but. Uh, but what does stopping the purchase mean? Because last time I ended off trying to get to the mission of like, because our friend came by and said like, oh no, the British are going to like buy our land. And one of the Templars is like a land salesman, so we're gonna go stop the purchase. After after we did lots of attacking forts and grabbing boxes of loot. The only th good thing about the remaster is it working on Windows 11 easily and having the DLCs automatically. That is true. Makes it more simple. Overall, of which that is pretty good because, uh, <laughs> if that is one thing that I can give this game, at least it automatically works with my controller. Because trying to get controller to work properly with Assassin's Creed 1 and Assassin's Creed 2 on PC is bothersome. Dispose of the tax collectors. And immediately they all go on <laughs> offensive. Stab you. Stab you. At least there's no, like, high level dude. Okay. Yeah. And it could just be that they changed the combat and it's... <laughs> and after three games of the Ezio trilogy... It's hard getting used to. I do miss the old combat. Like, 
the counter system could be e like interesting. You better not bump me up past to notoriety, my dude. That's rude. That's very mean. Optional. Oh, because. Hmm. Although that is still weird that they'd be like, we're going to add in the tax collectors as like a thing to go after. And it doesn't feel like it's part of this mission, but it's on the way. That is a little weird. Just like the new Red Dead Redemption uh, 1 port, the only bad thing is the price. They kept the original arts if they... Oh, the, they kept the original art style, added languages, made the performance better, included all the DLC for Red Dead Redemption 1. Peak remaster, in my opinion. Only missing the multiplayer that nobody cared about, and the price was pretty salty. Hmm. Yeah, because I heard a lot of, like, flack towards them. But, if anything, the Red Dead Redemption 1 remaster is kind of interesting, because... If I remember, they, like, lost the code to Red Dead Redemption 1 or something. Like, something that would make it, essentially, they would have to remake Red Dead Redemption 1 from scratch to, like, re-release it, which it seems that they did. Wait, I kind of question why they put tax collectors in the same area of this mission that has the, hey, don't go above two notoriety bonus objective. I question that design decision. Like, sure, this mission introduces that as a thing to do, but... Why place it on route to ruin my experience? It was very mean, especially because it felt almost like that was an intended thing. Oh, more tax collectors, kill them. And then I, there's literally just enough of them to kill to raise my notoriety above two. Or two, two. Just... It was like mathematically concocted to mess with me. They never lost the code, it was confusing. Double Eleven figured it out and even added new features like FSR2, which probably means we're going to get a PC version. That'd be pretty nice. It was spaghetti code, basically. Nobody really knew how it worked. That's kind of understandable. Even some good games have spaghetti code, like Team Fortress 2. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux. And the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stefan Chaffaut. Oh, hey, I and saved him. Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British... Like, see, this this cinematic is pretty good. But then, like, but the cinematics I got last stream felt off William to me. Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his <laughs> ah, is this going to be this. the tea party? A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to I want to the kill him. Upon which my village stands, without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. Attacks and we've got to stop the purchase. A boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Connor, head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. Hmm. I wonder if that means we're gonna go and then come back. Pardon me. Connor, you look like you did that intentionally. Oh, hey, you're a smuggler. Are we immediately going to run back? Limit firearm use. What? What does that even mean? What, is, what does that even mean? Oh, Jesus Christ, what are these liberation missions? Assassination contract. Assassination contract. 
now you show up. I wasn't even... Why do they only show up now in the middle of, like, a thing? Liberation missions. Hmm, interesting. You can't shoot your gun more than six times. It would just be kind of... It, personally, I think it should be six of six and then tick down with use. When it's like zero of six, it makes my brain go, Oh, is this something I have to do? But... Okie dokie. Oh, and I forgot to check the main, like, icon that I wanted to check out. Liberation Contract. Okie dokie. Let's head to the docks. And not shoot guns. Then again, I haven't even used my gun this entire time. I've been using my bow. And we're still in the middle of the mission, so I can't... Yeah, take on the text collectors. I can't because I have to stay below... The diddly D. So you better not go as like, oh, you failed the liberation mission. Game. Is it back there? No, it's gone. Or at least, no, it's still there. Good. That would be annoying. Oh, what? I'm trying to understand, like, all these things. Citizen missions. Oh, you didn't dispose of the tax collectors. That's weird. You also can't use your bow. Oh, that's weird. It's not a firearm. But yeah, that's just annoying. The way this is designed. Like, ah, we're gonna have the civilian missions overlap. Oh, maybe that other optional objective is gone now and I can go above to notoriety. Maybe. I don't know. I guess let's go beat up those tax collectors and try it out. But yeah, that's kind of weird. I think it should be labeled, don't use projectiles more than X. I think that would make more sense. Take this, jerk. And now I just need to look for my face. And then tear my face away. Hmm. Let me look at the wording of that just to see, to grab out. Another way to be what it could have been is limit your use of projectiles. Just to like, extra place upon you. Hey. Diddly dee. At least I think I was supposed to do that. Hope I wasn't meant to tail that guy. It's hard to tell. <laughs> ah. Limit firearm use. I see. That might be difficult, because the last time the game wanted me to shoot <laughs> powder kegs, it was very bad. Apparently it was an issue in the original release, and they didn't even fix it for this one. Pick up the object. And... Good, I should be able to do it. Sorry, dude, that's about to die. what you get for shooting next to smuggled cargo that I am ordered from on high to destroy. <laughs> That's kind of funny. They see me. I walk away. They walk back just to turn around in the same spot. Ah, AI. You amuse me. Oh, I want to deal with these two. Well, that's rude. They saw me. How dare.
With my shoulder check of the gods, they die. Once again, they're all placed next to poor guys who are just minding their business. <laughs> but no. And it's uh, rolling away. Sorry, my, my dear man. Uh, your life ends here. Kaboom. This is so amusing. I'm causing explosions like crazy. And it's like, ah, you're incognito now. I don't believe you. Uh, hey, you. Uh, not him. The, the man who's closest to me. Or is he not a guard? He's probably not a guard. He has... Come get me. Apparently I'm too far away. Bye. For a moment I thought that guy... Was like leaning against the boxes. He looked like a guard. Just enough. He had a hat. Hat equals guard in this world. Kind of annoying that it's just like, nah, you don't want to double assassinate these guys, do you? No. I know you can do it, game. Why is everyone using muskets? Come to think of it, everyone's using muskets up here. And kaboom. To free districts from Templar control and gang stuff. And now liberate the district from the Templar. Okie dokie. I guess we'll just wibbly wob around. What's the idea, random man in the distance? Because somebody said, yeah, that's the idea. Is it causing explosions? This isn't the, the Boston Tea Party. This is the Boston Explode Everything. <laughs> Goodbye. Like, I feel like these, like, I don't know, these just feel odd. And now they're all gone. They had a billion things. Hmm, liberate the, I guess, maybe go with these free... Like, are these the assassination contracts I picked up here, but they only appear now for no reason? Or are they a part of this mission? I don't know. Like, let's go back to the liberation. I'm just trying to understand things. Ah, good. It finished. It took it a bit to finish, but it finally finished. But yeah, I still don't understand the... I want to open up my map, but the game won't let me. <laughs> but yeah. Like, I activated these ass like assassination contract like up here a while ago. I looked at my map, they weren't there. I checked multiple times. It was only after I activated the mission that they showed up. It's just weird. This game feels like a box of silly string hovering over me. The silly string of Damocles. Let's see. We're probably far away from the dock. The map is also a bit weird to read. Sometimes. My brain interprets, like, the extra dark areas as, like, ah, I'm not supposed to go there. Or, like, as water, just offhand for some reason. When it's just like, ah, this is just not a city area. <laughs> those are the docks. Or, like, not the docks, but those are, like, the shipyard. I don't know. My brain just reads it weird. That's probably just a me issue, though. Connor, for a moment there, <laughs> was gonna do some running in place. Get his cardio in. 
did somebody jump into the water and die? Or is that just like a stock animation of somebody throwing things into the water? I can't tell with this game anymore. Anything can go in this game. I could see all the NPCs running in a single direction for no reason, and I would probably just buy it. I was like, yeah, sure. That's normal. Well, let's see what these, like, wish.com assassination contracts are like. Well, I just run up on a guy, see him, and it's like, hey, kill that guy. Here's your letter. Going to assume that's the guy they want me to kill. The guy with the gun. Who looks like anybody else. This really is Wish.com assassination contracts. He's just pointing at dudes. Um, excuse me. Unless there's more dudes. I think that's it. Like, I don't know. There's something about that. Random people just standing on corners. They don't even say anything. They telepathically tell you who to kill. I know, just it feels weird. Just slapdash kill these random people. You don't know why. There is no context. There are multiple of them. There's just something off about that. Connor is willing to kill anybody for some money, I guess, and ask no questions. Connor asks no questions, Kenway. He is here to murder, and only murder. Whether it be delivering letters across the world, or killing a random guy with a musket at the dock. <laughs> he asks no questions, and always delivers. Hmm, the lighting here is pretty nice. A bit heavy, but very cinematic. Atmospheric. For a moment there, it looked like Connor, like, stole the candle on his way out. <laughs> but no, you just clipped through it. It would have been hilarious if he did just pocket it as he went. Like, it's possible the little guy that I took these assassination contracts from is, like, is an assassin. And it's meant to be implied that, but it just popped out of nowhere, so it feels weird. Presentation is important when it comes to mission things. When it comes to, like, them just popping up, at least I'll, like, forgive the peg leg guy collectibles, because they're collectibles. So it might just be like, oh, this is an interesting thing, and it's just nice to get it out of the way when you're wandering the frontier, as opposed to, and only now will we activate it, so you have to wander the frontier again. It just also feels weird, because these are just random guys. <laughs> random dudes. They don't have bands of guards or mercenaries. It's just a man. Minding his own business. Go up there. Ah. I guess we slightly own this more. Contact. Interesting. That's kind of a... That might be a neat thing. It's a bit odd that they introduced it kind of unceremoniously. The mission began with... 
We have to give the people a symbol. Suddenly it became, uh, take the districts. Like, I feel that could have used a bit more presentation. A bit of emphasis. Or maybe I just wasn't paying attention enough and there was presentation. Or it could just be a negativity bias because I found a lot of other things weird here and I'm being overly critical. But at the same time, you reap what you sow in terms of atmosphere when it comes to creating an entertainment product. Even, like, negligible aspects can then become negative if, like, the core experience leans negative. Like, like I keep saying, I am very forgiving to Assassin's Creed 1, where a lot of other people probably wouldn't be. It's because its failings don't bother me as much. And I'm able to write off those bothersome bits. So there's probably plenty of people that can write off the bothersome bits for this game. Maybe they adapt to the stealth in combat better than me. Then again, I still hold that after the Ezio trilogy maintained at least the gameplay aspect to be, like, consistent across them. Changing it up semi, sem seemingly pretty radically really throws me off my groove. But I also find it hilarious that, like, when I'm wandering the frontiers, the wilderness, it feels like the guards are much more just ready to throw down and difficult to deal with than the city guards. What the fuck do you mean distance to target? I don't even know! Warning! Reduce distance to target! I don't even know what you're talking about! It just appears out of nowhere! That was just a guy. Oh, and they're down here, too. I could teleport down there. I think I'll teleport down there. Fast travel! Not fast travel. Fast travel! I want to fast travel. Oh, hey, that was pretty fast. Nice. I like it when fast travel is, well, fast. That might be... I'm going the wrong direction. That might be a perk of maybe the remaster. Maybe they balance things a bit better to load. Or maybe that was just a thing that Assassin's Creed 3 did, and who knows? I did not experience the original. I cannot comment on the differences. I can only comment, hey, the loading times for fast travel are indeed pretty fast. And that's something. But let us see, after we deliver this letter. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, the delivery of letters, mini game, well, not mini game, just like, thing to do, faffing about. It's kind of funny because, like, Assassin's Creed 2, there were missions that they gave you. Hey, deliver this letter. But it was like a single letter. Maybe one or two. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. And there was, like, actually, like, bits to it. This is just, like, random spread of things to do. Which is also amusing. Whether it be delivering letters or killing a guy, you buy in bulk when it comes to Connor. It's just highly amusing. And we shall now go to the main mission again. <laughs> I 
I guess, like, the design of them is fine enough. Because, like, you can just accept the mission and then randomly do them when other things line up in that area, which is fine. But I still feel that there could be, like, a bit of flair to it. You get the assassination contracts in bulk from a character of personality. They give you a bit of flavor text as to why these guys gotta die. And then you can do them at your leisure across different missions. You're like, oh, I'm in the area. I can just kill this guy. I don't know. It just tickles my brain in the bad way. And now it's forever up there. Boston's contracts. Mission completed. If it is, then why aren't you going away? Is it just haunting me? The ghost of those innocent men that I killed? I don't even think I was paid for it. I just did it. Because the game just highlighted a guy. Assassination contract. And then I did it. I truly am... Ah, well, that's interesting. Huh. Adding trees to the free run experience is pretty good. I killed a lot of people. Some of them who may have been innocent. Stefan, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been wrong. Pour me payer ces scélérats de merde. That's funny. Who cares about, like, this leader of conspiracy? Where are you going? To get back? What Limit time of conflict. Limit health loss before low-profile assassinations. And Boston's contracts are still there. Oh! Regardez! Some pathetic redcoats waiting for a beating! I will match your face to your jacket, Capul! Now I have to wonder, is that 33% like health lost overall or limit his health loss to above 33%? Because I, I, I don't trust this game to give me clear information. And are these guys like following him? Why? Is this guy just going to get beaten to death in the streets? just being followed. We are not English. We are not the king's men. We are free. But the king sends these red coats to put us around. They are not our masters. This is our city. <laughs> I have been robbed. I am going to create a revolution. <laughs> I've been a nice man for too long. Now they'll know my fury. That went by very fast. You looking for a fight, Englishman? I'll give you what you want. Man, I wish that killing people was faster in this goddamn game. And why are there three bonus objectives just on top of each other? Kill him. God damn it, why are these big guys so. I hate this. I hate it so much. This is going. This game is quickly dropping even below Brotherhood on my Assassin's Creed rankings. And 
Brotherhood is fucking down there. I stabbed him in the neck like five times. You want these guys to die? There is a way to fight injustice. It's through indiscriminate murder. Please don't make me fight a whole platoon with only 15 seconds for murder. Please, Stefan, don't do this to me. I like how it's like the bonus objectives almost encourage me to be the one to strike first when Connor's just like, no, Stefan, don't. I'm the one who's doing the most murder at the same time saying, no, Stefan, don't. Let's kill him. Create a window. Use your assassin. What? Use my assassin recruits? When did I get them? <laughs> Use your assassin recruits in combat or activate their unique abilities. When did I get them? <laughs> when did I get them? I don't remember getting any of them. <laughs> I guess he counts when he doesn't feel like it. He doesn't feel like an assassin recruit. Just have him refer to that. Feels weird. You have no right to rub people blind. By decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I worked for William Johnson. Even worse then. And his suffering cleanly. Please. I don't think that's cleanly. Man, that's the people seem to have an ear for you. What are the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my foot locker. The English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. You murdered a lot of British guys. When you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance. For what it's worth. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now. I need to find Sam Adams. Yeah, that mission felt weird in overall presentation. It was uh, overall fine, aside from the big kilt boys who refused to die fast on 15 second bonus objective time. But the riot ability is to create a riot at your target's position. At least, like, it just feels weird because... Templar Control Quebec. I just wanted to go to my map. Or like, not even map, I just wanted to do things. Apparently this is all I can do. <laughs> Hair meat. Success rate. Hmm. I shall wait until I have more then. Or maybe it wants me to put him at risk. But yeah, this is basically just like the normal one. But I only have like one mission each, even though it feels like I should be able to go up and down. 
<laughs> Two percent. Poor boy. I don't even know if I, like, send you out there if you die. It's like... 77, 27, 2. I'm not even reading. I'm just looking to make sure. It's like, is there anyone that's already 100%? Just on the offhand chance. But yeah, that mission felt just a tad odd. Because, again, it felt like it wanted me... To, like, take the initiative and kill the guards as quickly as possible when Connor's like, no, this isn't the way. But then it basically ended with him saying, actually, that is the way. Congratulations, Connor. Or, like, congratulations, Stefan. And it just randomly made him an assassin. You, you... He is randomly my assassin recruit now. And I don't even know where to, like, do assassin things in the mission. Oh, I guess open up here. That makes sense. Right? Assassinate. Contracts. Interesting, interesting. It just it just felt weird because we're just following Stefan and then suddenly this guy that we've only interacted with twice is now our an assassin recruit. It just felt weird. Duck foot pistol. Duck foot. <laughs> Would you like to shoot three people at once? I don't think I care for that. Do I even care about heavy weapon? I don't think I do. Not to mention, but one thing that I did like about that mission was, like, the the world kind of fell in around Stefan and his target. Kind of like a bootleg version of the Confessions, which was a nice touch. A bit odd that the first time that happens, well, no, the, technically the first time that happened was with Haytham. But Connor hasn't had that happen yet. He hasn't... He technically hasn't killed a major person yet. I can just start a riot. Or scatter throughout the city. Interact with them to start a riot. Do I have any reason to start a riot here? I don't think I do. Has your neighbor damaged your carriage? <laughs> your your carriage? <laughs> well, let's go uh, do another main mission, I suppose. Then maybe we'll go... About liberating some districts, maybe? Well, let's stop the tea party. Or maybe this is just more preparation for it. What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Heh. <laughs> Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one fit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. You have an assassin Before recruit. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Why are you so angry? Connor, for tonight, we are all victor. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I need to kill William Johnson, though. I have an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Like, I think it might be slightly building up to, like, oh, More guards. We need Connor is anger to also not advantage. really happy with, so. <laughs> with the, the dudes. 
just eliminate guards. And die. That guy, that guy almost survived multiple dips in the harbor. Don't mind me. I'm just a man. I still miss the ability to, like, assassinate at least one guard before things go off. I was holding the button. Please die. And again, like, everybody is using muskets. Then again, the people who don't use muskets are infinitely more terrifying to fight. So maybe I should be asking for more muskets. With the fire of my gun, I summon people. Apparently a whole group of the same people. <laughs> Who's this random, pudgy-faced man? <laughs> the boxes just spawn, <laughs> fall, without any kind of gravity feeling at all. Is this guy here just get shot by the British? Ah, oh, it's Paul Revere. He's not going to get shot. I just didn't have a close-up of him. We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea's being dumped. That box is empty. <laughs> Let me out. I'm yours to command. <laughs> we must dump these empty boxes. A musket air assassination. Dang it. Why does it ask for, like, specific things from me? Like, what is even an air assassination musket? That's not what I wanted, game. <laughs> it just automatically super jumped me. Now this is what I want. Into the water you go. I will dump all the tea from this boat at least, or at least a decent chunk of tea. At least I only need to do the throw three times. Why is it taking us so long to dump tea? I want to throw him into the river. I wish... I could just grab him. Dude. 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 Fight. Let me grab you. Why did they take away the ability? Like, it, I, I don't even think I can actively grab him on my own. And that one didn't even counter properly. I, I countered game. I hate. I countered game. 
I am beginning to loathe this. <laughs> Why can't I just grab dudes and throw them? It's a counter only ability. And none of the guys are here to let me just grab them. I'm fate. Dude, fight me. There we go. Technic apparently somebody fell in. That works for me. <laughs> Just shoulder check that guy. <laughs> Bar to kick that guy. <laughs> They're dying over T, and that counter just went away. He hit me once, and then he decided to not bother. <laughs> I already fulfilled my quota of T. Thank you very much, Paul Revere. Other people can throw tea. I'm the stab man. Oh, great. It's uh, one of the Terminators. I do. Or maybe not Terminator. He just kind of looked like one. We've done it. I call them Terminators because they were annoying to face out in the frontier. That guy was just doing a little jig. That is hilarious. William Johnson looks on with a thousand yard stare. Gunner. We saved the last one for you. I already threw ten. <laughs> right in their face. <laughs> Like, would they even recognize me? They haven't seen me dressed as an assassin yet. Last time they saw me was like months and or years ago. And just like... Dozens of people had to die for us to dump tea. I don't even know. <sighs> like, again. It felt a bit off. Not terrible, just off. We're gonna fast travel up here and, I guess, do some of these liberations. Because why not? Wait, it's just... It's just something. Something about it just scratches my head, and I don't know why. Connor is all like, no, you will tell me. Empty that time. God forsaken dog. Give me this off. You want to catch a beating? Get closer. Keep moving. You won't catch him. Leave off him. Let me go. Let me go. Asshole game. He is... Day for around here. I'm confuzzled. And now it's become a battle royale. I'm just killing everybody now. Everybody gets to die. Where did you all come from?! I miss being able to heal on my own. I assume that that mission is done. But yeah, where did that just line of guys come from? They just appeared out of nowhere.
I just wanted to kill a guy. One of the guys decided to run away. I shoot the guy. The guards come in. They kill the guys that I was killing. And, th and then just a whole line of dudes spawn out of the ether. A firing line finally made. Ready to kill me. Excuse me. I would like to get up on the shed. Kane, why would you do this to me? I wanted to climb on top of the goddamn thing and then just decided, nah. I'm trying to have fun with you, game. <laughs> At least the physics of them going flying is hilarious. Ah, he's a special man that I can only kill with the, the one way of killing. Okay. Disarm, and now he can do nothing. Oh, n never mind, he has a backup axe. Okay. And now he's just going to wave it around like he just doesn't care. Hit me normally. So I can disarm you again and actually have a means to kill you. I, I hit the button game. Game, I'm hitting the good dim button. Sparta kick. Disarm him once. And now we'll have to disarm him again because he has the axe. That's kind of annoying design. What the fuck? Game, can I play and go do other things other than this? At least they're here to kill that guy for me. Then again, I'm killing them all before they can kill him, so... Very rude. Alright, now attack me normally so I can disarm you, which is basically the new all-around murder counter. Again, it would be nice to be able to, like, see their health. That would be a fun thing. But, uh, I'm here to free you after I murdered a whole small village. <laughs> Just punch the lock. <laughs> that is one thing I do find funny. And we'll go that way, maybe pass by a crier. Yeah, it's just extra annoying that I just, I wanted to climb. That, that, the little shack. And the game just goes, no, you don't get to. Oh, I don't need to do that anymore because that was all contained in that one area. That's nice. That is nice. Credit where it's due. Having a dedicated, you're probably going to get into a fight, so we're not going to affect your whole city notoriety for this. Is nice. Why did you immediately notice me? I would like to stealth in this stealth game. Disarm you once. Disarm you twice, and now we can kill you. Kind of defeats the purpose of the like, multifaceted counter system. When only, like, one counter gets to work. You there, stop. <laughs> you there, stop. How about you stop instead? As it takes me five years to combo you to death. <laughs> okay, that's a cool move to kill. Ah, uh, yeah... <laughs> Literally, the only way to kill this guy of counters is by disarming him. 
Anything else damages you. That's just stupid. I hate that design. That is the design of somebody who went, Err, the other Assassin's Creed's have counters that are too good. You can't throw those guys. You can't counter kill those guys. You can only disarm them to death. Why? And as far as I'm aware, it's just like level one guards. You can kill them just by normally countering them. Level two guards, you can only disarm them. Which is why. Like, yeah, I've learned by now, but it just bothers me. That and the lack of health bars for the enemies. It's just like, everything feels wonky and weird. We shall liberate this place, perhaps, slightly. <laughs> but I, but I st I'm still kind of chuckling over William Johnson looking on with a thousand-yard stare as his smuggling operation is thrown into the river. Not river, the port. He's just like, no, my team. Give me all your kiss off. You want to catch a beating, get close. Keep moving, mate. Get stabbed. Yeah, just the more I play this, it just feels like Revelations plays better to me. It feels smoother, nicer, less overall bothersome. Empty that hurt. God forsaken thug. Give me all your kiss off. You want to catch a beating? Get closer. Keep moving, mate. You won't catch it. Was that news for good you did? Very grateful. <laughs> the best way to do it, just run in and kill them. My notoriety has gone up. Because I'm killing people. And I'll kill you all too. You dare to get in my way? <laughs> I just kind of s waddled away trying to grab somebody. I'll just kill you all for daring to get in my way. That one did not have a counter notification game. Very rude. You'd think by now they would be running because I just killed all their guys without taking a hit. Even the Uruks in Shadow of Mordor have that intelligence. Oh dear God, he just killed 50 of our guys in a row without being hit once. Get kicked into a wall, instantly die. More effective than gun. Or sword. <laughs> Light hip check. The ultimate way of murder. I would like to interact with this obvious thing on the wall. I would like to <laughs> interact with this thing obviously on the wall game. What the fuck? I just did a little waddle dance. I just want to grab this motherfucker. You aren't even on the map. You are not even on the map. Did you just spawn because I'm at maximum? Can I grab? I can't grab. The game is being mean. I can't do that because I need... I am getting annoyed. I am getting very annoyed, game. I 
again, didn't have the icon. Yeah, just keep spawning guys. That's game design. Guys, just keep spawning. Just keep, keep spawning, guys, who aren't on the map at all. Keep on spawning. Totally doesn't annoy me because I'm trying to get rid of that notoriety. Just keep spawning, guys! Stop! And you know that they're spawning them because they're not on the map. They're not on the map. This is so stupid. This is dumb. This is bad design. Stop. Again, it'd just be nice if I could actually fucking take this off. Get down to level two. I don't care if these guys are spawned by the system going like, Oh, did you see? Hepperde, hepperde. Your notoriety is big now. But I can't get rid of the notoriety because they keep spawning random jackasses. And because they just keep spawning random assholes who I can't get rid of because they're not on the map. So I can't even avoid them. To get to the criers. Maybe, like, maybe the whole system is like, oh, if you get to level three, you have to go to, like, the the dudes at the printers or whatever. But then just, like, why even show them on my map if I can't use them? This is dumb and bad and dumb. It's just bad design. I hate it. The notoriety system is just bad. Once again, people... On Climb, asshole? What the fuck? Is this game just disintegrating before my fucking eyes? That's what it's feeling like. The longer I play the game, the more it's just disintegrating. Why the fuck are you so fast? <laughs> You're so annoying. I just want to get out of combat so I can pay the town criers to fuck off. Oh hey, that one worked for some reason. Why do some work and some don't? Who knows? This game was made in five days, apparently. Thank you, telekinetic kilt-wearing man, for punching me in the gut. It's like, it would be one thing if this was just like the first time this game ever existed, but no! This is the th this isn't even the third one. There are so many others that already exist, and they just decide to throw out everything, apparently. It's just madness. And that madness all started because the game wouldn't let me tear down the first wanted poster that I saw. Such is this madness. Oh, I don't understand you at all. Because, yeah, there's just the more I play this game, the more it feels like somebody came in and said, Make Assassin's Creed again but different in all these different little ways because we can't just keep making it good the same way. We have to change it even if it makes it bad. Because that's what sequels are. The notoriety system, 
feels a bit worse. They don't put the wanted posters on the mini map anymore. I'm like 90% certain they were on the mini map in the other games. I could be wrong. Maybe my mind is just going blank and I just never noticed because I never had to focus on the notoriety system so much before. That's entirely possible. But I am like 90% certain that wanted posters did exist. Stop! Stop! Leave me be! I never agreed to be a soldier. <laughs> Chase and kill a military pursuer. Why do that when I can just kill him there? But these recruiters are relentless. Ah, the sequel to the floating scarecrow. The floating bale of leaves. It is shocking that, like, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was made in, like, a year. Then again, actually, to be fair, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood used a lot of assets from Assassin's Creed 2. And this is all a bunch of new assets. Me mama be grateful, you just killed these guys. You don't even know our crimes. Somehow these are beginning to feel more generic than, like, the... Recruitment missions for assassin recruits in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. <laughs> Thank you for killing that guy for me. I'm sure they'll be back, though. Then again... If you have to, like, chase down people on horses to get them to join your cause, wouldn't you not want them to join your cause because then they might just sabotage your cause? Like, you can only harass people into joining your army so much. That guy just standing on a wall. He just standing here. Maybe he's meant to be like a merchant. But he's not even saying just like, hey ye, hey ye. Fruits for sale. Uh, oh, no idea why the game allowed me to do all that stealth killing when otherwise it wouldn't want. I am annoyed by this game. That's. I pressed B to leave the menu, not to pick up a body. This game is slowly driving me insane. It just feels like it's doing too much. It changed too much, and it's just doing too much. It's like, we're going to have these, like, these missions, and then liberation missions, and then this, and then that. It's just like, pick some things. Somebody stop that man. Help. But these recruiters are relentless. Why are you... I'm going to shoot you next if you do not stop. Yeah, just, it's entirely possible that a lot of the issues that I am having with this game come from the fact that this probably took a lot more to make than other Assassin's Creed's up till now, because Assassin's Creed 1 came out in 2007, and then I think Assassin's Creed 2 came out in 2009, I think? And then 
Brotherhood came out 2011, not that bad because it reused a bunch of assets from Assassin's Creed 2. And a part of me kind of wants to say that Brotherhood was like made alongside Revelations in which Revelations had more time to bake. That's my conspiracy theory. That Assassin's Creed Revelations was taking long to make and they wanted to do it right. So like, hey, let's have the B team make Brotherhood. And that's why Brotherhood's story feels kind of weird. Like, both for Ezio and Desmond. <laughs> what the fuck? Did I just, like, skip a rock but with a knife across these guys' heads? What was that? In but a single motion, I killed two guys the exact same way. What? You've a kind heart. I'm going home. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you have a kind heart. I'm going home. I'm losing my mind. Although I will say one thing. The build-up... To the, like, main assassination targets is very reminiscent of Assassin's Creed 1. Maybe even more so, because we actually got to see these, like, target guys beforehand as Haytham. We met them as Connor multiple times now. They, they are building up the targets really well. I just wish that the flow of everything else was as well done. The flow just feels weird to me. And I don't know why. But I guess let's go tea party this. I suppose. Okay, guy floating through the air. Martial law. Welcome to the regular. <coughs> the most feared, respected, and revered fighting force on God's green earth. Some of you are here by choice, others not. Again, why would you want Regardless people who aren't willing? Regardless of your joining us, you are all brothers now. And the only way you have a chance of surviving is if you trust your brothers. One weak link can kill a whole squad on the field. I want Was you that to think like... about that long and hard. That's one of them is responsible. I, that, that model looked weird. Rounding up the young one. Like a guy's hand was clenched, and there was like a glove, but the glove was open-handed. Kill him, and the rest, and set all them boys free. It's a good plan, but it lacks detail. How is your aim with that rifle? Can pop a muskrat's head from a quarter mile nine times out of ten, and the ten's a misfire. And the ten's a misfire. From up there. Let me guess. This is how I get assassin recruits. I hate how, like, aware these guards are. They're just not fun to deal with. They're just not as fun, I gotta say. Miss me old Assassin's Creed. They're trying to shoot through the walls, Jerry. At least, like, the Templar leader guy is just up there not doing anything. <laughs> that works for me! Hmm. That's not what I asked you to do, game. Very much not what I asked you to do. I, I, I said it to a marksman. And then my normal guy came out and came to stab.
And also the game is restricting my camera. Very fun. I would like to look up. I would like to look up. How does that even work? Are you gonna shoot him? Are you gonna shoot him, my little man? I set them to shoot, and they just haven't fucking shot. I will shoot him myself. We assassins strive for peace through freedom and <laughs> set it to marksman. Normal guy runs out. Try to shoot him with the marksman. Marksman runs out, doesn't do anything. Sign me up. I'm okay. Well, the body's here. I'm gonna loot you. Oh wait, the uh, things are popping up. Let's see. Marksman, to, and have your assassin recruits kill nearby enemies. Except he didn't do that really. The Marksman Billy calls recruits to shoot out your target and take care of other nearby enemies. Except he didn't do that. Assassin's Guild, you have a new assassin recruit. And yeah, I know about that. You can move on. Has been liberated. Contact recruited. That, that part is obvious. Notoriety level 2. Except not really, I'm incognito now. And Clipper Wilkson has been added to the database. Let's go to targets. What, is he dead? Why can't I use him? Is it because he's story relevant now? Or what? Or is it because I haven't charged him back up? How do I charge my assassination meter? I want to send him out on a mission, but the game won't let me. This... How do you make it... How do you make... Like, the original games, where you can only send your assassins by going to pigeon coops at select locations more convenient than just instantly doing it from the menu? Game. I just want to send them both out on missions. But the game won't let me. Uh. I do not know what it wants from me. How do I charge you? Why? Because one block is red. It has like a normal block and then a not block. And it's just like, why can't I send them both? I think they're connected. Maybe they're not connected. I'm annoyed by this design. Wish that it was good. Yeah, because I'm just... A part of me just wants to wait around praying that the fucking assassination thing will load up. So I have both my assassins. Because that's the only thing that I can think of. Why would my dude... Like, what? Did he die? Is that what happened, game? Because that's the only thing that I can frickin' think of. Yeah, I think he may have fucking died. I hate you, game. I hate you. You're terrible. This is bad fucking design, and I hate you. Apparently, he's just dead now. That's the only thing I can think of. Because that's why the block's red, just eternally. That's the only thing that I can think of for it to be this way, and I hate it. Why? 
Or maybe I can only use them, like, if I am in the district, maybe? Is that what it is? Maybe! I just want information. Because it says in here, recruited Stefan, recruited Clipper. That's the only thing that even slightly would make sense. That if I'm not in their district, I can't use them. Unless it's a mission, maybe. I don't know. Still don't know why Mr. Marksman wouldn't let me use him as a marksman. But yeah, it's entirely possible. Hmm. Let's go up here, just to triple make sure. There's a liberation contact. Well, let's just fucking teleport. I guess. Because now this is going to eat away at me and I want to know. Now let's see. Is he dead? Or maybe I need to do this liberation contract to activate him? Let's see. That might also be it. I'm just getting all the bothered by this. It eats away at my soul. Wait, it's entirely possible that the guy's just dead. Of which, once again, somehow infinitely worse than Brotherhood's design. It's not my fault that the game told me, hey, marksman, and then didn't marksman. What? I don't care about him. I want to talk to this asshole. Oh, no. The other asshole. You do not partake? Uh, no, sir. I need to stay sharp in case you call upon my rifle. Spirits do me in Ah, yes. The rifle that you refuse to use. I with my brothers a few years back. I went for a run in the buff before I found myself rolling around in deer scat being sick all over. I don't want to go there again. No, thank you. Smart choice. Given the circumstances, I want to fight like you someday. You have everything it takes to be a great assassin. And that means something coming from you. Hmm. So I guess there isn't a liberation contract. Oh, contact. I'm assuming it was an R there. So yeah, it seems that the dude is just dead. Because the game just fucked me. Oh, wait. No, he's back for some reason. So maybe they die temporarily, but then they come back. I don't know. I don't even know what happened. But now we can send you guys out on mission. Except that only raises it by that percent. Why? That's stupid. Why? Why is your design so dumb, you stupid-ass game? Fine. Fuck it. Let's see if I can actually send them out. How do I... Oh, I need two of three to actually do it, it seems. Let's see. If we can find another mission that is... Just two. Once again, weird design. Compared to the other previous games that had this exact system... This just feels so clunky and weird and stupid, man. I hate it. Oh, I hate it. You'd think that you'd be able to look over and be like, hmm, does this mission require three people? But I guess it just expects you to have, like, only be able to do it because it only has three of threes. Okie doke. Still weird. Hmm. Which means, technically, shouldn't this area, shouldn't I be able to find Duncan Little? I don't know. But yeah, that, that was weird. That he was, like, red crossed out. And just wasn't available. And I'm just like, is he dead for good? Like, what's going on, game? Why are you being weird? You're the lad. 
neighborhood could use more men of action like yourself. My name is Connor. That's a lovely name for a man from Wales. What's your real name? Yeah. Rado Hong Gillon. A strong name. You should use it. Mine's Duncan. Plain as they come. If you've the time to spare, I'd urge you to keep on doing what you're doing. This infernal guy needs to be stopped. This infernal guy needs to be stopped. Sounds like he's stopped midway. The first time I saw the light was back in Boston. I was trading my biggest take of the season when the fire rose Wait, behind just... Beacon Hill. I Went don't know. Up in the night sky, past the moon. Then it was gone. The more things go, the more alone. just feels weird. Those next to me had their heads cocked the same, craned as far back as it That's not go. a hat, that's your Mouth hair. Couldn't tell you what, what the it fuck? Was, but I can tell you At least it, it looks like his hair doesn't look like a hat. I don't even know. But apparently Duncan Little doesn't want to join my assassins just yet. At least it seems like it. Yep, Duncan Little doesn't want to join, so I can't do the missions. Which is kind of weird that it's like, hey, I pressed a button, like, and it just sent me there. Just like, this all feels weird. This whole game feels weird. I reiterate, it almost feels like a different company wanted to rip off Assassin's Creed. And so they made this game, except it was Ubisoft and is Assassin's Creed. Yet everything feels just a little wee bit off. And it's extra weird because I didn't even jump into Assassin's Creed 3 after playing Revelations. I took a big ol' break. But like, yeah, this, this just might be even worse than Brotherhood in my opinion. Because for as much as Brotherhood annoys me for the soft locking... The weird thing, like, there's no restarting from checkpoints. There was that glitch where I made it through a level, but a cutscene didn't end technically. So I, when I skipped the cutscene, I got teleported back and had to go through the level again. The aforementioned soft locking. The bonus objectives were terrible. But at least it still played like Assassin's Creed 2. And that is feeling like a lot right now. Because that's just it. It's like everything just feels off. I'm expecting Assassin's Creed, but it's Assassin's Creed 3 and it plays weird. The combat is a little weird. The stealth is a little weird. The Brotherhood recruitment mechanic is a little weird. I don't know. But that shall be it for now. We will continue next time. <laughs> like, I I guess it kind of makes sense because I kind of was expecting us to go and kill William Johnson rather quickly. But now we're building up to it. I guess it makes sense with the whole Connor putting the hatchet into the, <laughs> like, the building to signify going to war for his tradition. And that only makes sense if it's actually a decent length of time to actually finish it. So that kind of makes sense. And I do like the build-up. I do enjoy some good build-up. At least it's better than even some Assassin's Creed 2 and... Yeah, basically, the only targets... Like, no, I think these might be the best, like, build-up to targets in Assassin's Creed so far. Which is pretty neat. Mostly because the hunt for the Nine in Assassin's Creed 1, like, had build-up, but you didn't have build-up to the specific targets in the sense that you didn't really know those targets. They just existed. And then you went to kill them. That's it. Assassin's Creed 2 had some build-up, but a lot of other targets in Assassin's Creed 2 were also just, and suddenly I am now here to die. They appeared once, and then you go kill them. Then Assassin's Creed Brotherhood... Only had like four targets and like none of them are important or interesting. I don't think I remember any of the targets from Revelations. Everything blends together. So the buildup's nice. I just wish that the gameplay was also nice. Because like I guess the gameplay isn't overall bad. It's just like everything put together, there's a lot of 
minor annoyances that begin to make a big old chunk and crack in the whole of the game. Which is why I kind of stand by saying that Assassin's Creed 1 might very well be the best Assassin's Creed because it isn't bogged down by anything. It doesn't have annoying added-in things. Sure, there's some annoying side objectives for when you're building up to do the main assassination mission, but you can skip over those and do other missions instead to get your credit for assassination. Gathering the bonus, well, not bonus objective, but like the collectible flags, you can ignore that. Killing the Super Templars, you can ignore that. The base game is functional and good. Which is more than enough for me. It's just that all the other things in these games sometimes crumble. Like, Assassin's Creed 2 as a full package would be the best Assassin's Creed to me. Were it not for memory sequences 12 and 13. Those just snap it in half. From the perspective of playing an Assassin's Creed game from start to finish and doing as much of the game as possible, those two memory sequences bump it just below Assassin's Creed 1. <laughs> Assassin's Creed 1 wins by doing absolutely nothing. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We will continue... Once again, next time, maybe we'll kill William Johnson, perhaps. But that will have to wait till next time. But yes, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have lots of other things that I do on the internet. I have a YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, for edited content, scripted content, that I do want to go around to be making sometime soon. If you want streams or Let's Plays, that's the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games. And then if you prefer to watch me play games live on Twitch instead of YouTube, there is twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. Then there's also my art and writing, which those links can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. Mostly because there's so many art sites that I post to now, like Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds... And some of them aren't, like, normal. So links to all of them can be found in my link tree. And the link tree itself can be found linked in descriptions, bios, and link places of the various internet sites. Also in my link tree are links to my writing if you want to see some of the stories that I've written. As well as links to my Patreon. So if you want to be kind and throw a dollary do or two my way... To ease the evils of the world, that you can. But, yes, I do believe that will be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.